So today we will discuss about uh, a very uh, course which is uh, very uh, close to our heart, uh, the newest of our offering, certificate program in machine learning for finance and the associated uh, courses uh, uh, with that, right? So different uh, machine learning and data science uh, courses that, that we have. Now at IIQF, we have always been very passionately uh, promoting and uh, educating uh, the, uh, about this field of quantitative finance, finance engineering, risk management, and even uh, machine learning applications in finance for more than one and a half decade now. Uh, we are the oldest quant body, as a lot of people know, in India. So, I mean, machine learning or artificial intelligence or data science, this fields, I mean, the different facets of this fields has been part of our courses for quite some time, right? I mean, these are not new fields. Of course, it has evolved and it has come to more uh, in the forefront in uh, recent times. And of course, that necessitated the, uh, or rather that, that prompted the requirement to have a specialized course in machine learning and related areas for finance. Because what we have seen is uh, machine learning, I mean, of course, there are like many, many courses where machine learning and artificial intelligence and data science is taught in general. But what we, as like industry practitioners, which, what, we, what we have seen is, when you talk about applications of AI and ML or data science in finance, there's a specific requirement to actually teach these subjects in context of finance, right? So there is, of course, the core subjects will always remain the same. But if you really have to work uh, in finance and I apply this, um, uh, this, this uh, tools and techniques, then you need to have a specialized training. So with that intent, uh, we uh, developed this specialized courses in AI, ML, and data science in finance. And uh, of course, uh, I mean, from the forefront, our edu education has uh, always been in conjunction with industry experts. So, I mean, we ourselves are from the industry, and that is where the requirement uh, came to, to promote the quant finance education in India, right? So from that time, from a very inception, we have been very closely collaborating with uh, industry experts and industry leaders. So, of course, I mean, the same thing uh, has been done for this, uh, this uh, data science and uh, uh, machine learning courses for finance as well. Uh, we have brainstormed work very closely with industry leaders and like forming a course which will actually prepare people uh, to work uh, in this kind of uh, specialized field in finance where, where once they come out of this course, they will be absolutely job ready as with all the courses, our endeavor always has been to prepare people and make them job ready so that once they go out of these courses, they can directly go and plug into the desks. As part of our uh, industry leader body whom we have closely collaborated, uh, at the forefront of it, uh, we, we have with us uh, uh, Sanjay Bhatia who has uh, been like uh, at the forefront, as I said, from the industry side in developing these courses. So uh, Sanjay, uh, thanks for all your help, your collaboration, your, all your inputs uh, along with the entire uh, industry body that we have. I mean, you have been, of course, done a stellar job. A lot of uh, it is like your uh, effort as well, right? So uh, I thought that like, again, uh, who better than you to uh, explain uh, about our, uh, this line of courses in data science, AI and ML in finance, uh, the, the pedagogy that we have, and then of, before that, the, 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 the topics, the dis, I mean, the syllabus, the curriculum that we have, right, and uh, maybe like if you can elaborate more on that, I mean, uh, the, about the course and its applicability in the industry. Okay. So uh, maybe thanks, Nitish, and uh, thanks uh, uh, to all of uh, those people who have uh, ratified what uh, we suggested as initial blueprints, how it has right. been evolved through multiple ratification. And <laughs> every time you had a new perspective and we had a discussion how to make it more uh, tailor-made for the industry. Correct. And moreover, with the, the aspirational candidates in mind, how to uh, it caters to their needs so Correct. that they can have an easy transition into this, these new role families while being part of the industry. Absolutely. Right? Or even 
while not being part of the industry because this AI ML gives space to everyone, right? Because it's a new evolving field. Absolutely. Right? So the main design principles and design thinking which went into uh, maybe uh, creating a blueprint or structure for this course has been that each of these sub subfields like data science, machine learning and AI should be given their own space along with that the application specific uh, nuances or nitty gritties should then be also be tackled in a specialization. So in, in that spirit, in that letter and spirit, the first we have designed, uh, the panel has designed uh, three tracks for the entire certificate program uh, in, of machine learning for finance. The first track is focusing on data science. Right. So the, as, as we have uh, already covered through multiple uh, interaction and podcasts, why data science is different from you know, AI ML. So the data science focuses on the understanding of statistics and probability, which is essentially the uh, basis on which the data science is built. Then we talk about various data science uh, tasks like data uh, manipulation, data transformation, data augmentation. Uh, data synthesization, data aggregation and use of this particular data to create crucial insights for predictive analytics, right? So uh, we need to maybe uh, uh, the course, the data science course which is uh, spanning three months in the initial track of the CPMLF, you know, covers all these specific areas of uh, which are the task which a data scientist is expected to perform on any data set. And more so, it covers that using the financial data set. And that is the key point, right? Because here we want to train, uh, you know, somebody to be become a data scientist professional in the broader BFSI space. So we would be specifically using variety of different financial data sets. So the application of data science in finance is always explained. The use cases are always the data set and problem set are, are, are always coming from finance. Right, and then there's a, a more creative part of data science, which is uh, the last leg of these three months phase, which is how to build critical and creative thinking and how to uh, do the data visualization, uh, which is a topic where we 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 would introduce uh, students uh, to different tool sets like Tableau, uh, Click, uh, or maybe uh, uh, the Python, in, in Python how to create a dashboard using Plotly, right, to visualize. So data visualization involve the training on different, uh, uh, you know, tool sets, different libraries like Matplotlib and Seaborn, which are potent libraries within Python to do the data visualization task. And then the more creative part is how to tell your story because data science is not about producing figures and you know uh, uh, throwing these confounding figures at uh, you know people to make them make sense of it at their end you have to do some inferential science data inference and tell a story so that would be essentially what covers the data science the three month track of the cpmlf program, the entire end-to-end -end program, the initial three-month track would be covering the data science for finance. And then maybe as we proceed, once uh, somebody cement their understanding of the data science, then obviously they are pretty confident in how to do the exploratory data analysis, data visualization and all of that. And they would definitely then be, uh, you know, well positioned for learning the AI ML algorithm. So that is the next track, which is, which covers all the methodologies, all the different variety of techniques uh, under the supervised learning, unsupervised learning, uh, the deep learning, the uh, language, large language models or natural language processing, the generative AI, right? All of these uh, are different paradigms of machine learning and different techniques uh, which are mapped to classification, regression, clustering are covered under the AI ML module which will make uh, you know somebody very clear about what are the uh, how each technique is different from the other right how to uh, you know uh, uh, implement multiple techniques on the same problem set to make a comparison or to do benchmarking analysis and that is always in the context of financial use cases 
like uh, probability of default modeling. We would use many of these techniques all at the same time. Right to compare them and to uh, work like a machine learning researcher who is just trying to find the right technique, not just clearly adopting what is given thrown at him. Right, so that would be the second focus of these this uh, second track uh, learning track, which would be uh, lasting for around uh, uh, four months. Right, because it is a very heavy topic where we have you know so many a lot of techniques to be covered, and then once you are there, right, uh, you should give up a cheer up to yourself and uh, pat your backs right because then is the fruit actual juicy fruit of uh, AIML you would be choosing your elective area and uh, making a conscious choice that in which area domain area you want to build your specialization we have introduced a variety of specialization uh, not narrowing down we have just covered most of the subfields in the broader finance industry like from maybe risk management to trading to uh, maybe uh, your front office pricing and valuation uh, to climate risk which is a new topic to uh, generative AI you could choose you it is at your discretion to choose it is after all your career to where you want to pursue this specialization and how you want your domain right to further propel your journey and not to just uh, you know uh, 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 digress from your path whatever core competencies you have built machine learning will add on to it and that requires a specialization in this in the specific role where you are so that is maybe uh, you know covers the over overarching principles and the entire curriculum how you know it uh, you know takes you through a journey learning journey although it is a steep learning journey but it would be quite engaging for you because the transitions are quite interesting and you would be clear with every change in uh, shift in the gear you would be clear what are the differences between data science AI and ML which is really confounding topic for many right so thanks uh, maybe and uh, uh, you know uh, for, for more details you could uh, you know download these syllabus and the detailed curriculum which break it down into topics and very granular topics and we would be happy to answer any queries or maybe whatever your clarifications are if you have on the curriculum thanks wonderful thanks so much for that de uh, detailed explanation uh, so just to add what uh, Sanjay has mentioned, so what we have tried uh, to build is like, uh, this is like a curriculum uh, for anybody and everybody who has any interest in data science or AI ML applications in finance. I mean, uh, whether you want to only specialize in the data science aspect or you want to go the whole hog and you learn the entire AI ML application in finance, or even if you are somebody who has already has a very strong exposure to data science and AI uh, ML based uh, basic knowledge and you want to learn only the specific application areas in finance so you can only, then only do the specialization modules. So depending on where you stand, anybody who has any interest in learning about applications of data science, AI and ML in finance, so I mean there is something for everyone actually, right? Uh, so with that, uh, I mean uh, we, would, we would conclude the session. As Sanjay has mentioned, uh, we'll be happy to uh, answer your, all your questions, queries, discussions. Our uh, numbers are provided below. Contact email IDs are also provided below. You can go to our website, I mean, fill up the inquiry form. I mean, you can connect with whatever way you are comfortable with. We'll be happy to discuss. Thank you.